ureotelism ureotelism is is uh, excretion of urea by animals process of excretion of urea by animals is called ureotelism those animals which excrete urea are called uricotelic are called ureotelic animals they are called ureotelic animals it includes the earthworms in invertebrates a few animals like earthworms they excrete urea chondrichthys chondrichthys includes cartilaginous fishes like sharks skates chimeras and adult frogs the larva of the frog tadpole excrete ammonia but the adult amphibians they excrete urea and the mammals including human beings they excrete urea chondrichthys we are discussing about chondrichthys like shark apart from excreting urea they elevate they retain urea inside blood now if the concentration outside is more see animal is in sea water now for example concentration inside is 10 and outside is 33 yeah, the concentration of sea water is 33 ppt so when concentration inside the blood is less and outside is more water will leave the body if contrarily if the concentration inside is say for example if it is 40 water will enter the body then water will enter the body now to prevent these both from happening either water entering or water leaving it has to maintain a concentration similar to the external environment so it will actually retain urea urea there is equal to salt so it is elevating the its blood with urea it is called physiological uremia it is elevating its blood with urea now urea is poisonous of course it is less poisonous when compared to ammonia now since urea is poisonous so these animals it contains trimethyl amine oxide so cartilaginous fishes mollusks they contain this substance trimethyl amine oxide to protect its proteins against the poisonous effects of urea now when compared to ammonia urea is less toxic for excretion of 1 g of urea requires around 50 ml of water that means when compared to ammonia less quantity of water is sufficient for excretion but requires more energy in case of human being we know the first formed ammonia the form, first formed nitrogen based is ammonia inside the liver but it is formed by deamination of proteins or amino acids the ammonia then combine with carbon dioxide ammonia two ammonia combine with one carbon dioxide three atp molecules are utilized in that process to produce one urea molecule two ammonia by oxidative deamination glycine aspartic acid so from that this ammonia is an h2 group removed converted into ammonia it combines with one carbon dioxide carbon dioxide is released in the tissues after respiration energy some energy is required for production three atp molecules required for urea but see for, when ammonia is produced for synthesis of ammonia so no energy is utilized there but here some energy is utilized in that process urea three adp molecules plus water a molecule of water three adp molecules broken down that energy is utilized to produce one urea molecule so when compared to ammonia less water utilized so that means where you see ammonotelic animals uh, they have got abundant water but ureotelic animals they cannot afford to lose that much water through urine so they are discarding to discard less amount of urine water through urine to discard less amount of water through urine instead of ammonia they are choosing urea as excretory product even in human being ammonia is converted into urea or the in cycle occurs inside the liver now all these animals they excrete urea as a excretory product it is less toxic it requires less water 
but it spends some energy in that process.